Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at points, lines, and planes in this lesson. Um, a point is a lo location with no length, width, or depth. It's just a place in space. And we identify points by giving them a capital letter. For example, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It doesn't matter which capital letter as long as we're labeling a point with a capital letter. We also usually will put a small dot to represent that that's where that point is. So here's an example of what we might see. That would be the point E. All right, so in space, that point right there, wherever it is, we'll call it point E. So that's basically the, the basics of what a point is. Now, if you have a series of points and they're all um, in a straight trajectory, then we call that a line. It's a collection of points arranged in a straight path, and the line will continue in both directions without any end. So we label this with a picture. When we draw a line, we'll have an arrow on both ends just to represent that it goes forever. Um, it can be identified in two different ways. You can either name two points that are on the line, and it doesn't matter what order you label them in, or if you have a lowercase letter that appears on the line, then that can also be the name of the line. Let me show you an example of that. So here are some examples. If the line has the points A and B, you would call it either A, B, B, A. Or you can put these line symbols above the letters. Or if there's a lowercase letter H right next to the line, we would call it line H. Here's an example. So we could call this line EF. We could also call it line FE. We could label it with the line symbol above it. Or because there's a lowercase m next to the line, we can just call it line m. And any of those classifications would be appropriate for this line. The third thing, and this is the final thing we're talking about today, is planes. A plane is just a flat surface with infinite width and depth, but no thickness. So um, like a computer screen, flat screen. Just goes up and down and side to side, but it has no depth. All right. And a plane will be named in one of two ways. You'll either name three points that are on the plane in any order that you want to. Or you could use a capital script letter that would appear in the upper um, corner. Typically, a plane is represented using a parallelogram. So again, if we had a parallelogram with a script letter, and here I'll show you what that looks like. So here's an example of a plane. We would identify the plane using this parallelogram. And we would label it by saying it's plane M, that uppercase script letter in the upper corner. Or you could label it using any of the points that are on there, ABC, CBA, BCA, CDE, e, EBA, anything you wanted um, to label this plane. Again, those three points will represent that that's the flat surface that passes through all of those points in space. All right, so here are some examples that you can see all of these different things all put together. A couple of points that are on there, the point G, the point L, E, F, and H. Those are points that are on this plane. If we're going to identify a line, we could say this one here is line E, G, or G, E. Or because it has a lowercase m, we could call it line m. This line here we could call fl or lf. Or we could call it line k with a lowercase k. And the plane that is represented by this blue parallelogram, we can say it is plane g, script letter g. That's a capital G in the script. Or you could label it using any of the points. This is plane ghf, lgf. LEF, LEG, any of those points that are on there, if you name three of them in order, that would be another way, the other way to label this plane. So that's all there is to know about points, lines, and planes.